What is up, people? Welcome to another fresh take. And I got with me, Mr. T. Hey, that fools. What's going on? All right, people. Now, last weekend we had there was San Diego Comic Con that went on, and there was a lot of uh good geek information that came down the pipeline. We got a lot of good trailers. Um, we got a lot of good panels for uh, different upcoming shows and movies and things of that nature just coming out this year and next. And here at Fresh Take, we just wanted to give our thoughts on a few of the bigger highlighted ones. So what we're going to do, we're going to start this off with our favorites of the of the, of the the actual um, Comic-Con. And the first one we're going to go with is one that's actually coming up August 4th. Uh, season three of Voltron on Netflix. And th- we got an actual trailer, not not any, not like a sizzle reel or anything. We actually got a trailer, which thankfully they did, because sometimes Voltron waits to like the week of, and then they release a trailer. I hate when they do that. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> this one, we finally get to see Prince Lotor a little bit. So mm-hmm. if, if, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched season two, <laughs> but... <laughs> At the end of season two, uh, the Voltron Force team, they take on Zarkon, they beat Zarkon, and Shiro disappears. And at the end of it, Hagar says, um, bring Prince Lotor. Bring Prince Lotor, yeah. So that's where we're going to probably pick up, because there is no Black Lion, which we already know this is going to Keith. I don't even know why we're doing the semantics. (laughs) (laughs) You got to go through the semantics, you know. I mean, dude. (laughs) <laughs> like, we already know, like me and you know what's about to happen. Right, right. There might be some people out there who don't know. So yeah. So I, I, I digress. I, for, for y'all that don't know that that's loving the way the story goes. Good for y'all. Me and T, we like. Okay, can we just move this along? We just get to the good shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go on and hurt everybody feeling. Look, it's supposed to be Keith. Keith's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, I mean. He's supposed to be. They, they teased. Is it, it not obvious? Time. I can't tell because, like, like we know. So yeah. Uh, is it not obvious to a person who may not know that that's what's that's where it's headed? It should be because they foreshadowed the hell out of it in season two. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I don't know if people would pick up on because, like I said, we already in the know, so I don't know if people yeah. would pick up on the stuff that we think they would pick up on. So. I mean, they blatantly damn near said it three Pretty much. Times. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> I mean, it was the first episode where Keith, yeah. <laughs> I want you to take over. Right. <laughs> like, he basically bro. said it. Like, bro, you specifically said it. All right, dude. All right. All right. <laughs> and then there's the way where he actually pilots the black line for a little bit. Like, all right, dude. All right, dude. Okay. All right. Thank you for the blatantness of that, but whatever. Um, I am, I will say this I am looking forward to Prince Lotor. Um, they look like they made him a little bit more because in the original, when he's when when you first meet um Prince Lotor in the original um cartoon and anime, he's like mm-hmm. way more vicious and crap. But yeah, he's, yeah. And toward the end of the Voltron run, yeah, he got a sexist he was too. <laughs> <laughs> he was, yeah. That, he Allura had that mug nose I, wide open. <laughs> yeah, I think you know. You know, I just said he was kind of a sexist, um, which is funny. You could get away with you could get away with a lot more stuff in the eighties than you can yeah. get away with now. So maybe, you know, somebody, some group caught a, you know, caught wind of him, and that's why they uh, basically nerfed him <laughs> oh. <laughs> towards the end there. So that, well, that's I, very possible. Yeah, but you think they're gonna do it again? Though you think they're gonna simp him out again? I, I hope don't think don't. so. I hope not. I don't, yeah. I don't think so. Because I. I, I Cause it's one thing to do it, but it's the way they did it in the original. You like nobody believes this. <laughs> I'm talking. He's showing up to the castle with with roses and crap. Like what the? It was very jarring. It was it was as jarring as like. Here, I'm gonna show my age on this too. Well, we well, we talking about Voltron, so we're already showing our age. Yeah, we are showing our age too. <laughs> it's very. Jar- it was it was probably as jarring as like, uh, Teen- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles like season two, like as far as the animation. How oh crappy! Yeah. <laughs> like it, like it was like, whoa! What the hell is this? How, who, is there new people drawing this? It, it was very jarring, like that to me. It was like, what the heck? Yeah, it, it really caught everybody by surprise. I think it was like the last two seasons where he was just like simped out, yeah, and like acting like a little punk. I'm like, dude, she don't like you, bro. 
<laughs> I, I wonder. <laughs> I, I wonder, uh, like, as far as the time, like the when the first when Voltron first started the original one, into where those last couple seasons where he got simped out. I wonder, like, what year that was. I wonder if that corresponds with anything in uh, he, uh, American history <laughs> in that decade. Wonder, you know what? You're right because I don't know. Yeah, I wonder. You <laughs> <laughs> gotta go. Gotta go research that. that was, uh, yeah, yeah. We might have to look into that. But <laughs> Voltron season three, I was happy about it because that was like the first. I, that was like one of the first trailers I saw um, Friday from um, mm. Comic Con, and I was like, thankfully, because I didn't know it was coming back. But it's August fourth. Now there's some good news and some bad news with this. Good news is they're talking about doing more seasons more frequently. Bad news is it's only gonna be seven episodes. Mm. So we kind of have to take a a little given a little give and take here. So they're going to do seven episodes a season, but we're going to have more frequent seasons. So we get season three in August. We may get season four in December or July or January. You know, mm. that's the way they're acting because the, the series is doing well. It's hella popular. Everybody's loving it. So yeah, they, I understand where they're coming from a little bit. I'm just like, man, cause I'm like, dude, I want my full 13. If you're going to yeah. give me my full 13, dude, but they play a little I, safe. I mean, I think, they should know by now that it's popular enough to where they can exp- uh, expand those seasons or the yeah the seasons out a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, that probably will happen. But I mean, well, well actually, you, know, you just kind of confirmed that they're just kind of going to do more frequent seasons. So yeah. just, I mean, that's fine. It's fine either way as long as they're consistent. So yeah, yeah. Because I was saying, like, if you don't give me more seasons, but I had to take a hit on the episodes. I'm fine with that. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's going to be seven episodes, but um, we're going to get more seasons. So that's fine by me. Yeah, that's fine. Me too. So, all right. The next one on the list is uh, my other personal favorite from um, August, which I will be taking the day off of so I can watch all eight episodes. Uh, Marvel's and Netflix, The Defenders. Mm. We got a full trailer. And... Uh, Sigourney Weaver has officially scared the hell out of me. Because <laughs> um, he's doing that that monotone talking. Yeah, she's uh she's menacing. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, all right, man, now it's getting creepy. All right. <laughs> but uh, I, it's, I mean they, they had me at Nirvana, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like oh good 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 show, guys. Good show. <laughs> yeah. Um and that thing better be throughout the whole series. Um, yeah, that's kind of like the theme song, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Which is actually is actually pretty interesting because um they did lift the review embargo and a lot of the sites have been putting out their reviews of the first four episodes because that's what they were allowed to see. They haven't seen the whole thing. So once again, don't go in. If you read a review and somebody's hating on it, please believe that they did not see the whole season. They only saw the first four episodes. Right. That's what early reviewers got to see. Um, but from what I've seen, of the, a lot of the reviews are overwhelmingly positive. So, I yeah, no, I would guess a show like that, um, with you know, with these many heroes in it, is going to take a few episodes to get together. You know, get it together yeah. to where you you getting into the, some good action and some good storyline stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff they have to tie up. Like, remember, if you've watched Luke Cage, they got to tie up the end of Luke Cage at the beginning of Defenders. Right. You know, they got to tie up the end of Iron Fist at the beginning of Defenders. So, some stuff has to be tied up. So. If you ha- if you have been following along with the different seasons, uh, with the different seasons of shows, me personally, I'm go. I've went back and watched the, just the last two episodes of Daredevil season two, uh, the last two episodes of Luke Cage, and the last two episodes of Iron Fist just to get myself a, as a primer. Uh, I haven't watched the last two episodes of Jessica Jones because of the simple fact that like uh, Jessica Jones and like the first season of Daredevil doesn't really talk about like the hand or anything. Yeah. So that's going to be a whole – that's why I just haven't went back and watched the last two episodes of those. Not not to say that I don't like them. I do like them, but I'm just – They just got to make sure that they get um, uh, that hand – they got to get that mystique of the hand to mm-hmm. where it was in the Electra movie. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you, I had had to to, you had to bring that up, didn't you? You just had to bring that up. When are, when are we doing the 2000 movies? When are we oh, reviewing right. the 2000? <laughs> right, that's one of them. Huh? <laughs> yeah, dang, that movie sucked. Oh um, uh, God, it was awful. <laughs> oh, God, awful. Um, but 
Uh, I will say this, though. Um, I do like the fact that they've kept this so secretive because I still have no idea who's the Gordon Weaver character is supposed to be. And I'm a pretty – I'm not a, 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 a big of a Marvel um, head as some people think I am. I know a lot of them, but mm -hmm. I don't I don't I can't figure out who this is. Yeah, um, I have no idea. So yeah, a lot of the villains I usually know. Or I usually can tell because at first I thought maybe they were doing like a riff off of especially um since Daredevil season two, they they said the hand was undead ninja zombies. I thought it was they were probably gonna be talking about Mephisto or Blackheart or um somebody like oh. that possessing wow. somebody. I don't think that's the case now. No. So I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea who this is. Um, I'm hoping I can probably figure it out when I watch the season. So, <laughs> can you bring in Blackheart without? Yeah, your boy without Ghost Rider, like. Yeah, you can bring him in because, like, what they do normally, how they do Blackheart in the comics is uh -huh. like he can't literally leave, quote unquote, hell. Mm -hmm. So he basically possesses people. Okay. So you can do it. You can do it that if you did it that way, you could do it without bringing him in okay so to yeah speak. i don't know too much about black i mean he looks like a really cool villain the, yeah. i i first got a taste of him in marvel versus capcom too so oh, <laughs> that was my dude. first that, that serious black combo black. he had yeah <laughs> i used to hate people who used to pick him <laughs> i hated it too oh my <laughs> god uh the freaking cheaters all right <laughs> <laughs> that being said um oh yeah and i would remiss to not mention stick I love Stick. Scott Glenn is the man. Mm. So, <laughs> um, looking forward to seeing how this all pans out. Uh, oh, but your boy in, uh, in Electra played Stick better. No, I'm just playing. Let me stop. Let me stop playing. Why are you? I, do, I am a fan of Terrence Stamp, but not me that too. Part. I'm a fan of Terrence Stamp, but no, <laughs> no, no, dude, no. Terrence Stamp, uh, you should have known better. Um, <laughs> you are a thespian. Why did you take? Why what did you, you read did, that yeah, script? Well. <laughs> why did you read that script and say yes to that? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so um, yeah, I mean, we got to talk about that movie at some point. Oh, goodness. we are. Oh, we are. You <laughs> know, <laughs> Bob Nation. Um. Uh. But yeah, looking at this, I, I'm actually very happy. Um, it looks like we are going to get some kind of resolution to the whole Luke Jessica thing. Oh well, at least a they, they, from what I've read and what I've seen from the panel, they are they're going to address the issue of Luke and Jessica from the end of uh, Jessica Jones. They are going to address the foggy Matt uh, fallout or fractured friendship. They're going to address that. They're gonna address a lot of stuff with the because everybody's supporting cast is coming in Defender, so we're gonna see a lot of people. Yeah. Also, and this was done at the panel. Iron Fist did get greenlit for season two, and Misty Knight will be in uh, Iron Fist season two as a uh, major recurring character that was revealed I, at Comic Con. I just hope that they get it together for season two. I just want her arm to be gone and that metal arm to be there. Right, right. <laughs> and I'm Every, I think everybody, get everybody, everybody showrunner that cares. Get a showrunner that actually likes Iron Fist, please. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I, to hell with Scott Buck. Get, a, <laughs> get, a, <laughs> get an actual showrunner that, you know, at least, hey, if you got to, bring in the RZA. The RZA's episode please, was yeah. the best episode of that season. The best episode of the season. So, because yeah. bring him in. On what? The Kung Fu. All right. Which is what you're supposed to focus on. I could give a damn about the Meachams. Iron Fist, man. Oh my yeah. Yeah, nobody gives a damn about no damn Meachams. What? Yeah. <laughs> Why would they ever think that, that anybody care about that? That should be the back plot, the back subplot. That should have been two episodes in the tops. forefront. Yeah, like, come on. <laughs> that should have never been a. Yeah, so. That shit was dragged and dragged on. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, that being said, Marvel, yeah. Jeff Lowe, get on it. <laughs> get now. It. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger Things season two, and I'm gonna let you handle this one. Mm. Stranger Things Boy. season two. I know you saw it. Yes, I did. <sighs> like I was so worried about like at, because season one was so perfect, and it's just like how do you top it? Um, how do you top that, or at least uh, continue it with everything that happened in season season one without giving anything away? If you haven't seen it yet, please do. If you haven't, what are you doing? Um, Especially if you were '80s baby. <laughs> Yes, but at least on the trailer, 
it looks like they're continuing the tone, is going in the right direction. Um, I'm very excited to see uh, the season. Do, do we know how many episodes yet? Or nine? It's nine episodes. Okay, nine. Okay, cool. So you're gonna get at least the same, you know, what's what's one more than last or the first season? So yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now I will say this: they did the they, the thing they did. They got me hyped for the trailer. Thriller, and they had Vincent Price doing the overlay. Yeah, Vincent Price. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so every time they did something, like, they would show, like, Will uh, spazzing out, and yeah. you hear Vincent Price. <laughs> 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 so I'm like, okay, I, I see what y'all did. Um, Sean Aston is in it, and there is a Goonies. Uh, like, come on. There. <laughs> I was, they threw Sean Aston in I'm like, come on. Why are you playing <laughs> games with me? Like, this is perfect. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Like we all know that you know Goonies was a big influence on the movie, or oh, the yes. movie on the on the series. So, and to actually have one of the Goonies in this, it's crazy. That's just crazy. So, and to actually see them actually have like a Goonies and yeah, a sequence <laughs> in there. I'm like, okay, <sighs> yeah, all right, all right, <laughs> perfect. Yeah. Now I want to ask you, man. Do you think Will has powers, and you think do you think Will and Eleven is gonna have to team up to take out whatever the hell that thing was in the sky? <laughs> I'm I think he does. I don't know if I want him to have powers. I, I'm kind of torn. Okay, I'm kind of torn. I like the mystique of L and her, it just being her kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. I almost feel like it would maybe it would be too much. I don't know. Maybe they can do it in a way that it makes sense and it works. I mean, you would think something happened to him. No, you know, no, they kind of hinted at it, you know. So, and the way the trailer is, the trailer goes is like he's flipping in and out between the upside down and the real right. world. Something's up there, obviously. So, yeah, and it don't um, want him. It wants yeah. everybody else. Wants everybody else. So, yeah, I mean, as, as long as it's nothing like, you know, I don't, I don't want like, it to be. Like, right, like, I was gonna say superhero, -y, yeah. nothing like that. Yeah. As long as he ain't like throwing up his hand talking about by the power of gray school. Oh my gosh. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, w I wouldn't mind that if, if it didn't really do anything, but he just kind of did it as a, you know, as a little side, off, yeah. A little homage, a little, yeah. That would be cool. I would, that's that would actually a pretty cool idea. <laughs> they did that. And then nothing happened, and the other guys just kind of looked at him and laughed or something. Yeah. That, that would be brilliant. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be too awesome. Um, I do like the, go the Ghostbusters. Uh, Homage, I like yeah. that. I'm, I'm. Don't go too far into that stuff. That's my, that's my biggest worry. The first season yeah. didn't do that. It gave you a little taste of this, a little the lie and stuff, and uh, hopefully, yeah, don't go too far into the references and all that stuff. Don't get lost in it. Yeah, I think I don't. I don't think it will go too far into. It. I think they just they kind of like did that for the trailer. Yeah, just to like. You know, look, we know what y'all want. Probably right, right. They know yeah. we. They know what everybody, because we all talked about the references. Oh, yeah. You know, so they all know. They all know that we know. Yeah. So they're just kind of playing that up a little bit. So. Yeah. But uh, excellent trailer. And if you haven't had a chance to um, go on YouTube and watch their panel, if you're a fan of the season, they had a really good panel. And it's not that I heard long. That. I haven't like, watched it. It's only like 20 minutes. Their panel's on like yeah. 20 minutes, so it, it's not a long panel. So. Um, go on and watch that if you have a chance. Uh, next movie trailer up that that I saw and enjoyed was Thor Three Ragnarok. Mm. Um, yeah, you know what? I didn't like Thor Two all that much. <laughs> oh boy! I mean, it was I, right, but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this, I like how they're doing this. I, I like that they're adding like the. They're breaking down the whole Shakespearean crap, and they're actually letting it be a little bit lighter. Um, I like what they did with uh, since they couldn't get the rights to a Hulk movie, they just decided to put Planet Hulk in the movie. That was great. I was <laughs> like, we all kind of knew, we all kind of felt that was coming. We didn't know it was going to be in Thor's movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, we kind of felt that Planet Hulk was coming in some capacity. And it's pretty cool. It was, a, it was a good idea to do it this way, I think, because um, obviously, for some reason, the Hulk movies struggle. Like, the yeah. first one should have struggled. It was quite terrible. Yeah. But, but the, uh, second one, the second one was pretty good, I thought. And yeah. um, it still didn't do well. I think the first one even did better. 
Uh, yeah, it did uh, overall. Yeah, yeah. overall. Uh, that, that pains me. So, yeah. well, it looks like they took a uh, took a page out of uh, Ryan Reynolds' book with Deadpool and just pretty much say, say okay, Paramount, y'all won't let us do a um, um, Universal, y'all won't let us do a Hulk movie. We'll just add the Hulk in this movie and put half of Planet Hulk in it. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? I think okay. at this point, though, because that, that was still really early. What was that? We got Iron Man and then, or was, no, Hulk was the movie that started it off, wasn't it? Uh, no, it was Iron Man. Iron Man well, It was Iron first. Man. Okay, and, and then, then Hulk, Hulk came, came out like July of that okay. year. Okay, it was the same year. Okay, that's it was the same year. Saying. All right. So, you know, that was very early Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. At Disney this point, had bought him at that point. Right. At this point, you know, I would... You would think a Hulk movie would be guaranteed success at this point, so uh, it's still possible. I I would still like to see a Hulk movie at some it's, point. It's possible, but I just think like what's holding it up is as a uh, Universal. Yeah. Well, Mark Ruffalo, he's a uh, you know, where whereas uh, Ed Norton had kind of he kind of fizzled out by the time Hulk, Incredible Hulk came out. Yeah. Um, and Mark Ruffalo, he's always been around. He's been like, you know, the indie darling forever. And then like, he's done bigger movies and he's, he's a leading man. He can carry a movie. Um, oh, yeah. he's very likable. And so, the way he plays it is, is good. Like, he the plays way, it perfect. Yeah. He plays it. You actually feel for the guy. Yeah. It's like, I can't give him, uh, better than, um, what's his name from the TV show? Um, uh, Bill, uh, Bill, Bixby. Bill Bixby. Yeah. I can't give him that because maybe it's a little bit nostalgia in there. Yeah. But he's very close to like how you feel for him and all that stuff. How, yeah. You know, he the feels the line really good. Yeah, yeah. Because so. like Bill Bixby, you just felt bad for that man. Do you like? Yeah, he just just, he just got alone. Punk punk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that damn music didn't help. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, they had. If you with the press do not watch the Incredible Hulk TV series from the seventies, oh that ended music will be like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Do, 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 do. That shit is so sad. Yeah. <laughs> but but you know what? Want to be worked. a superhero? Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? It worked for what it did. And oh, it was perfect for the TV show. Yeah. It was perfect. So yeah, Thor Ragnarok. I'm looking forward to it. Um, yes. I'm, and from what I understand, um, for, from their panel at Comic Con, uh. The movie's not gonna have a very long runtime. It's only gonna be like an hour and a uh, forty-five minutes. It's the it's the the fastest time that we have for any Marvel movie. Most of the wow. Marvel movies, the individual movies, are around about two hours, at least two hours, ten yeah. minutes. But this one's supposed to be at an hour forty-five. Wow, so, it's moving. That's the hey. That's what I like to see. I mean, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I don't need to be in this. I don't. Yeah, don't do that. Let's get into it now. I will say this. Kate Blanchett looks awesome uh, as hell. Okay, see, thank you. Uh, I was about to say, yeah. um, I didn't care as much as I wanted to for the first trailer. And she was the standout, of course. God damn, yeah. that woman's fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, she was, you know, she was there again <laughs> for the yeah. second this trailer here. So Can we just be honest? Like, when, when she played evil, she that is sexy as... I don't oh, know what God. she do, but... <laughs> Cause like oh. she she has this line in the trailer where she's like, "Oh, I've missed this." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I've missed you too, girl." Uh, I'm like, what? The, I'm like, what the hell? I'm not supposed to be saying that. <laughs> You're the bad guy. Uh, it's all right, Thor. She's not that bad. Yeah, man. Don't quit acting. <laughs> <laughs> you can rule with her, you know. Yeah, like, what the hell? Dude, what the hell wrong with you? Why are you? Why are you hating? <laughs> so I mean, yeah, but uh, honestly though, um, I, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Kate Blanch is a is an amazing actress. So oh, she's a great actress. I too. can't wait to see what she does with, with Hella because it, it looked like she's having fun from the yeah, trailer. She looked, it looked like she's having fun. He does look like she's having fun. I, yeah, yeah, that is true. So. I mean, and everybody's favorite um, anti-hero, anti-villain. I don't even know what to call him. Loki. Loki, Loki. Be a Loki. <laughs> I expect at least three double crosses in this movie. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> at least. Oh, <laughs> Loki. He's up with Thor, with Thor anyway, because as much as he hates him, he like he loves his brother, so. Yeah, it's a definite, it's a definite thin line there. Yeah. Love, hate there. But yeah, I am actually looking forward to this one and um we will we'll be getting that in the first of November. I want to say November I think they said November third or something like that. Whatever the first Friday is in November, that's when Thor hits. Now the next movie that we got that is coming out also in November is 
since you're my DC affiliate, I'll let you uh, take this away. <laughs> uh, it's a little little movie, little indie movie you might have heard of called Justice League. <laughs> oh my gosh! Four minutes. Love that trailer. Loved it. Uh, one thing DC know how to cut a trailer. That's they do. They, you, know, you don't know sometimes about some of the stuff that go actually happen in the movie. Yeah. But the, them trailers be on point. And this was a great trailer as well. So much stuff going on. And all the speculation on who was the guy at the end with Alfred. Oh, you know? please. Um, <laughs> come on. <laughs> really? <laughs> come on. People are like, oh, Green Lantern. No, no. No, that was. <laughs> it's soups. Okay, it's soups. Everybody knows this. <laughs> <laughs> but I've seen videos as like, oh, it's definitely not soups, and they go into this thing, and, and they try to convince the hell out of you. It's like very convincing. Oh, no, you, well, look at the green guy in the glasses. Yeah, right. no, no, <laughs> no. You know, they mention uh, there's no lanterns and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I guess that was Steppenwolf. Yeah, Steppenwolf. Uh, that was Kieran talking Hines. or whatever. So, huh? A uh, Kieran Hines, one of uh, Nolan's uh, people that he gets for every yeah. one of his movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just looks so good. It looks good. They, I mean, some of the CG's a little wonky. It'll get there. This is yeah, this early footage here. Yeah, yeah um, it's obviously a post production. So yeah, it is and, really it's really difficult to cut a trailer for a heavy CG movie when you're not completely done. So you know you don't get the final render. You know, on a lot of this stuff. So. Um, I, ex- I fully expect it to look great. So when it's, when it's all said and done. So. Yeah, and I, I'm expecting awesome action sequences because let's be real. It, it, oh my gosh! Whether you love them or you hate them, Zack Snyder know how to frame it. That's action. one thing he can do. <laughs> he can do some action scenes. He could. Yeah, yes. So I'm expecting this one to be action packed. Um, I like how Steppenwolf looks. I Steppenwolf like will look great. Yeah. And, and I will say this: I do agree with a lot of other um, uh, reviewers. They went out of their way to make sure Wonder Woman was shown heavily. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're not dumb. They know. <laughs> and they showed the Amazons. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Oh, boy. I see what y'all did. Yeah, they they know did. what the love is right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they know They're going to milk that muzzle to dry. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, The other, other thing that I like, though, the standout that I like is Jason Momoa. Oh yeah, Jason Momoa. Like, it, it, you know what was really weird though? His shot where he's um, that is this trailer. I can't remember if it's this trailer. Or the it has to be this trailer where he swimming. He goes through the building. Is that this trailer? Oh, that's this trailer. Okay, yeah. And I'm like, that looks very familiar. <laughs> it remind me of uh, Doomsday doing the building surf. Yeah. And uh, the trailer from. Uh, but he did it on top of somebody. <laughs> he did it on top of somebody. Right. That was <laughs> like he was surfing on his ass. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was Very pretty cool. cool. I think Ezra is finally growing on me as Barry Allen. Oh, you I didn't I, like it? I liked him from the beginning. Yeah, I didn't like him at first. I'm not going to lie. I, I, yeah. People, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't like him because I knew what they were doing with The Flash, and it was pissing me off because it was basically season one of The Flash mm-hmm. TV series that we have now, but they're changing that now. So yeah. – <laughs> That has been scrapped, and they're going a different direction. But I, he's kind of growing on me because he's going to probably be more than likely the comic relief, and we're dealing with a very young Barry Allen. Right, he's very young, yeah. Very young. Like, he probably just got out of college, you know. Right. So that, that's the Barry Allen we're dealing with because he, he basically says in the, in the trailer he doesn't know how to fight. Right. He says, what is he, he basically like, what does he say? He taps he people, and, run, and, runs away. people and runs away. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. That I was, was like, great. okay, that's that, that was funny. I mean, like, he has like the two funniest lines in the trailer. Because like the whole pushes people and runs away. That is brilliant. That was and the whole um when he's talking to Jim Gordon, Jim's like, Well, what are you gonna do? And then they all go and he's still there. He's like, Oh, uh, they really vanish. Did they just do that? That's rude. <laughs> and then he leaves. So <laughs> I mean <laughs> That was good stuff. Yeah, he's growing on me. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I can, I can, I can deal with it. Um, like, like you said, it, it, the CG does look a little rough, but I expected it to because yeah, it's I mean, too live. It's and, a Comic Con trailer too. It's not yeah. like, you know, yeah, like when that, I made that's the trailer too. It's a Comic Con trailer, so right. you're you're not getting the full. They're doing reshoots right now, so they could touch some things up. So I mean, you, it, that's it, 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 it's very much like video games where you have a um, a demo made. 
Yeah. And the demo is a really early build or earlier build of the game. It's not, you know, because they had to, they had to do that, you know, months ago. And they, they've been working on the game the whole time. So the game, the final game or the game, you know, well, at the time is much better than that demo. So that's, it's very similar to that where you uh, cut a trailer. I've done it before. It, it sometimes is one of the hardest things to do, especially in like a, a heavy, like CG movie. Um, is to cut a trailer because you don't have that a lot of that stuff um, until close to the end of the production. You know, you don't have a lot of the final shots. And, they're still uh, doing like photography. Yeah, they're still doing photography. They're still, you know, um, doing matte work and they're still touching up the effects and all that stuff. So um, you have to kind of cut kind of the rough stuff together. Okay. So well, it looked good. It's, I, it's, I, I still thought it looked pretty damn good for yeah. you know a movie that's still what five months away. Yeah, five months away, yeah. So we're, we're looking pretty good. So I'm like uh, DC. Um, like I said, I enjoyed Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping y'all knock it out the park with Just League because unlike some people, I don't care about this whole DC versus Marvel crap. I need it. all y'all to do good. So yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to this one. This I'm I'm hoping that we get to see a lot of cool stuff. Like I said, I like how they got Steppenwolf in there. Um, I like Kieran Hines anyway as an as an actor, and his his voice does carry. So I'm like, yeah, you know, that's that that's what I want to see. Yeah. So, yeah, kudos looking, to you guys. Have fun, good. wishing y'all the best. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Looking good. Now, the last one that I have is a a straight up Netflix movie, and it's starring everybody's favorite uh, actor, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> Will Smith and Joe Edgerton in um, Bright. Now, Bright is from uh, David Ayers, the guy who directed Will Will in Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. So this movie um, looks like it's going to be a – it's going to hit like a lot of – I don't want to say – well, you know, it's going to hit a lot of of different tones, I think, because the way it is uh, in this this world – like orcs, fairies, elves, they all have come to our world, basically. So Will Smith plays a cop who takes Joel Edgerton, who is an orc, and that's his kind of like training day, his partner or whatever. And they're basically having to go around a day because he's the diversity hire or whatever. That's kind of weird saying an orc is a diversity hire. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> that's pretty much how the, how it starts off. And basically what happens is they find a person who has a wand, a magic wand. Now, a magic wand in this world actually grants wishes. So, of course, everybody and their mama going to want it. And that's when you have the famous line from the movie SWAT, $100 million. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what this movie, that's what the trailer turns into after that. Guilty now, pleasure. I'm actually looking forward to it because it, it's, it's different. It's so different that I think it actually might work. And it's taken like you know, that, that, well-known fantasy tropes and bringing it into like a serious world, which is, I don't think that's ever been done. I don't think it has either. Uh, yeah. Like the closest thing is like, what is that? Happily ever after? What is, no, what is that show? Ever, what is that show? That's on Once ABC. Upon so, Once upon a time. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And that's not like serious. It's not, no. it's very ham fisted. So, you know what I thought that you t- you're talking about the mashing of uh, a bunch of stuff together and yeah. different feels of it. I totally felt like Alien Nation. Remember Alien Nation? Bit, yeah, yeah. I kind of, I kind of felt that vibe a little bit. And like you said, with with some Training Day in there, and I'm sure there's gonna be other stuff. We'll, we'll I'm, see I'm waiting for Boys in the Hood to show up in there. <laughs> <laughs> and we, it's so funny that we're back to Will Smith. We were talking about here's a, talk about Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon here. <laughs> we, we, we were talking about uh, uh, Defenders earlier. Mm-hmm. Which um, who's the actor that plays? Um, uh, oh my gosh! Um, <sighs> I'm totally blank. It's so weird when I do this. Uh, the, the 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 black superhero ball guy. What's his name? Oh, oh. Uh, Mike Coulter, Luke Cage. Luke Cage. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know why I go blank on this stuff sometimes. <laughs> Luke Cage. All right. So the actor that plays Luke Cage, like I said, we're talking about Will Smith here. Mm-hmm. I'm watching, you know, I fell through the YouTube rabbit hole. Like sometimes you do, you start watching something and it, you know, tails off in another thing and you kind of keep going. Yeah. So I ended up on like cinema sins. You know what that is? Yeah. They do the, uh, 
the was a little sin counter wrong with whatever. Yeah, yeah, everything wrong with yeah. So I ended up there on Men in Black Three, and I don't know why I never realized this before, but Will Smith's dad in Men in Black Three is Coulter. Did you know? Did you remember that? I did not remember that, but now that <laughs> I didn't remember that at all. <laughs> I didn't oh, remember that yeah. at all. And I'm watching him like, and he's much smaller too. I don't know if he, he maybe, I don't know if he just looks smaller because he's not, nah, he was in that uniform, but he, yeah, he was definitely smaller then. Yeah. And it, that's what, that's why probably I didn't remember. And he had hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but for, uh, for, um, Halo and he up for Halo. Right. Right. Yeah. That was after. So yeah. Yeah. Like I was like, this is crazy, but yeah, I just <laughs> wanted to point that out. That was pretty, pretty strange. Well, I, I did not remember. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, there you go. That was him, damn. That was him, yeah. That was his dad. <laughs> oh, man. And I was blown away when I saw that today. I was like, oh, wow. That's crazy. The stuff you, yeah. And we ended up talking about basically both of them. <laughs> both of them, yeah. <laughs> For Comic Con trailers. So that's kind of that's kind of weird. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, uh, Bright looks like it's going to be interesting. Now, that one is December 22nd mm-hmm. on Netflix. So. It's probably going to wind up being in my queue anyway. So I figure I'm probably not going to be doing nothing that day too much anyway. So I'll probably go on and catch that one. So are they still filming that or are they in post production? Bryce is in post production. It's in post right now? Okay. Yeah. Um, somebody said they, they did have a panel for it at Comic Con. I didn't see it though. So I don't know if that's true or not. I, I, didn't, yeah, I didn't see anything on that either. If they did have a panel, I didn't see it. Now, the only other panel that um, I watched fully and that I'm mad that I didn't get to see what everybody else got to see at Comic-Con was Black Panther, because apparently they showed the second Black Panther trailer at Comic-Con, but it was for attendees only. Yeah, yeah. I heard, like, there's some kind of reaction video. or what? Yeah, where they pretty much were Lupita, Chad, Michael B. Jordan, uh, and um, Denied, they all lose their mind. <laughs> yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gotta watch that. I gotta see. What so, that's but they didn't show because apparently that was for attendees, and they did show a Punisher trailer for um, the Punisher Netflix series, but that too was for attendees only. Yeah. So don't like. I got caught up trying to find a Punisher trailer. Everybody's lying, <laughs> you know, on it on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. There is no Punisher trailer on YouTube. So if nah, you see that, it's a lie. It was Defenders. And they showed like a literally a two second clip yeah. <laughs> of Barenthal walking in the hallway or something. And Talking I, was, about it, I finally made it. Yeah, yeah. like come on. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, don't click under that. It's clickbait. Yeah, that's clickbait. The 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 real the real true trailer that they showed was for four attendees only that were that yeah. was in that panel. So um, yep. yeah, I, I think we're gonna get a Punisher trailer. But it's gonna be right after Defender. So. I, I say probably around September we'll probably get a Punisher trailer. Then they can't mess up this show. I mean, they can't. Nah. I mean, I said it about the movies. <laughs> I said they can't mess these movies up. Well, the first one was too. fine. People just first didn't understand the character. Yeah, but see, it, it the first one for me, like I, maybe if you didn't live in Tampa, yeah, <laughs> it, it wouldn't have bothered you as much. But I, I saw a lot of Tampa, and it just oh. Uh, I, I go by there every day, you know. Yeah. So that that kind of took me out of the movie a little bit. Yeah. So maybe, you know, because I lived in Tampa for seventeen years, so I can understand. That. I know all about that place. I, I it was just a little that. weird for me. Yeah, I'm sure. Like people, you know, who maybe I don't know, maybe not New York, because New York is so universal. I put it like you live right in New York, maybe. We go like watch that, we'll something like we go watch something like Spider Man or um, Captain America: Civil War, and they say that they're in mm-hmm. Bucharest. And you understand, you understand yeah. they're in underground Atlanta, um, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, oh, I know what Queens. Is. Y'all yeah, are not in or Queens. Or Toronto for Queens. Yeah, you know, Toronto Y'all are not for in Queens, Queens or something. <laughs> Y'all are <in> Queens. right. Y'all <laughs> right, right. Exactly, exactly. They ain't got that many damn trees. <laughs> no, 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 ain't that many trees in Queens. Yeah, I've been to Queens quite a bit. <laughs> they got some trees, not that damn many. Yeah, it's, it's trees, but no, no, not that many together like that. <laughs> <laughs> so Central yeah. Park, you can see some trees, but uh, <laughs> you know, throughout Queens, not really. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, can, I can feel you on that one. The first Punisher movie, though, with Thomas Jane, I thought they did a good job. Now, that second one with Ray Stevenson, that, war, that was just, that was cartoonish <laughs> and stupid. 
Yeah, it was cartoony. It was like, you know, it reminded me of uh uh what was the uh the eighty I guess it was eighties, maybe late nineties. Uh maybe it was actually early nineties. Uh Dick Tracy. Yeah, that was early nineties with Warren you know, Baby. Punisher and movie, yes, ninety it was like ninety or ninety one. Yeah. Punisher movie should not remind me of Dick Tracy. No, <laughs> at no point. At no point. At no point, yes. So wow. Yeah, and and that was them trying to be like, oh, we we're being edgy. Like, no, no, you're no. Not. I'm like, I see why Thomas Jane dropped that movie. I I, I would have looked at that script and shot a bird at every last one of y'all. See, so oh, like, like this. Uh, oh man, like I feel like that scene would have been a whole much, a whole lot better. The scene at the end of the Punisher movie with um, um, that, that's not a club. I know what that is. That's the Tampa Art Museum. Oh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, so I'm looking at that. It's not a turn club. Like, the like, yeah. <laughs> they took yeah, they took they took the art museum and turned it into a club. I'm like, no. <laughs> it, so that stuff bothered me and when I watched it. I was like, ah, totally pulled me out of it. It's like that's not a club, that's the art museum. <laughs> like I work over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, uh, I go to school down there. I know what I know what that is. <laughs> so yeah, it was just little stuff like that. that would take me out of it that probably didn't bother other people obviously yeah, yeah. but I, I i do think john bernthal is going to do a great a good job the netflix yeah, yeah. stuff for the most part have been done really well when they've taken their time iron fist they didn't take their time on iron fist that's why i think season two will be way better than season one because they will have enough time to take their time and do it right right so punisher yeah, I he think, was great he was great in uh, daredevil so yeah you know and I, I just expected to keep going. Now, the one thing I will say is I expect to have a body count counter on the bottom <laughs> left screen. Like uh, Hot Shots Part 2. Yeah, with it just like, <laughs> they, they, they're going to need one because he killed a hell of a lot of people in four episodes oh. in freaking Daredevil. Oh, my gosh. And the, and the, the prison scene in, in, like, episode seven, it got even higher. <laughs> so oh, man. He was murking a lot of people, so... Uh, the one thing that they, that I, that I did read that they said that was in there was like it's not going to just take place in one specific area. Like it's not going to be in New, just in New York. He's going to be traveling around, like yeah. kind of like in the comics. So mm-hmm. we will be able to see some of that. So I'm looking forward to that one because Punisher is coming out this year. Rumored, as I said, rumored to be um, Thanksgiving week. I don't know if that's going to stick or not, but we'll see. We'll see because I'm pretty sure have a have a Punisher Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll get like, a, we'll get like a, a concrete date, but it's such we'll, a family warm oriented show, you know. Man, you know, men gonna be all, all the men gonna be like sneaking away <laughs> before they fall into that turkey coma. Yeah, you know? <laughs> to get up those <laughs> Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, because I know I'm gonna do it. So. Um, <laughs> I know I'm gonna be the one of the main ones doing. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get at least two episodes. So yeah. that's it for this uh session of Fresh Take. And yes, we will be coming back with that that 2000, the 2000 decade of movies, because uh Daredevil, your ass is mine, and so is Electra. So <laughs> Oh boy. We gotta yeah. do them together. That's oh man. <laughs> yeah, we might have to do yeah, that and that might be a two-parter because there was some yeah. atrociousness going on in the early two thousands. I'm I'm gonna have to go back and watch. I have ashamed to say, don't do it. <laughs> I own I own them on DVD, and uh, I'm about to go back and watch. I mean, I, I wanted to be fresh. <laughs> my my well, discontent. Daredevil ain't that bad. Daredevil ain't as bad as Electra. No, Daredevil. Yeah, Daredevil has way better uh, yeah. virtues <laughs> than Electra does. Uh, Electra. There's almost nothing about Electra that was good. Nothing. Almost. Nothing. Other than Jennifer Garner, you know, her fine behind plan. <laughs> And I'm a fan of Will Young Lee. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was so disappointing. Yeah, I'm a fan of his. And I'm like, bro, really? Terrence Stamp, uh, really? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to go through the many ways that I hate that movie. But yeah, um, we'll talk about. It. We'll get into that. We're gonna get. We're gonna get into that. Yeah. But hope you guys enjoyed our little uh, recon of uh, San Diego Comic Con this year. Let us know in the comments what are you looking forward to. And we will see you guys on our next vid. Peace out, Pete. Peace.